When I began to wonder if I was trans, I'd already been with Drew for well over a decade. Drew, I think I might be trans. You're just figuring this out now? What do you mean? I mean, I have known for quite some time. Really? Yeah. And, and you're okay? Yeah. And you're still going to be attracted to me? Well, I cannot guarantee anything. <laughs> but I'm attracted to you as a person, and you identifying as a boy wouldn't change that. Wow. Scared. It's a big stuff. I'm just going to wear male things and see where this goes. Okay. <laughs> but you are still attracted to me, yeah? Me attracted to you. Yeah. Uh -huh. True. Totally. Then <laughs> congratulations doing hard stuff. <laughs> oh. Oh, but I need to change my name, and I have no idea what to pick. Oh, okay, the traditional name that passed on your family is George. Yeah, but I'm so not a George. How about Magnum? I'm being serious. Me too. Come on, you could be Magnum, and we could get two dogs and name them Zeus and Apollo. <laughs> Zeus, Apollo. I will mull it over some more. <laughs> okay, but you are not a George. A gay boy, maybe, but not a George. <laughs> Very little help. Okay, but I still love Magno. Well, oh, come on, tough guy. You would look great with the mustache. Don't start something you cannot finish. <laughs> give me strength. Give me grit. Otherwise, I'm not legit. Give me wood. I walk tall with no eyes on my ass or my cup size And my suit will not rumble nor my expectations crumble People laugh at my jokes Aye. and clap my back saying What a bloke! They attend when I glower and I pay more by the hour Give me truth in my heart that's the most important part Give the world a chance to view Just give me one second, okay, okay love? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. Blair? Yeah? Um, you know how I've been doing these plays. Oh, yeah. Give me shrink. Give me that. Otherwise, I'm not legit. Give me wood. Give me X and something to my back. Uh, huh? Yeah, that's, that's very close, love. Yeah, it was lovey. Oh. Well, love, you can understudy me. Yeah, for sure. Okay, love, and you yeah. know how I've also been going to a group to yeah. talk about how, well, maybe I'm more of a boy on the inside. Yeah, your transgender group. What's up? Well, I've decided I'd like you to call me Papa. Papa? Because I'm feeling like I'm more of a papa than a mom. Papa. Uh -huh. uh -huh. but, but what if I still want to call you mama? Blair, 
I can understand this might be difficult for you, but maybe you could try it out some of the time. Not all, just some of the time. And see how it feels. Please? I can try it, but I don't think I like it. Well, maybe there's some other name that would feel better. Okay. How about uh, the Papa? Papa? Popeye. Next station is college. College is next station. Mom? Where is my snack, Mom? Blair, remember that conversation we had? You can still call me that if you really need to, but to try to do what I asked, at least in public. Where is my snack, Mom? Blair, I'm asking you. Okay, Popeye. That's not what I meant. Okay, late for supper. Excuse me. Where is her dad? Here. See? Papa. Sh she is your papa? Yes. I'm her papa. Late for supper, my snack. I sat in the awkward. I marinated in the awkward. I tried to make friends with the awkward. So, Tyler ran off tea, so he's drinking coffee now? No, testosterone. Oh, injections of testosterone. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. I can't do my own shot. I'll pass out. You're going to have to do it for me. Don't worry. I poke you anytime. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all kinds of people said he was detransitioning. Yeah, but what we, he wasn't. He just stopped for a while. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then when he went back on tea, his junk started getting bigger. I mean, I'm not freaked out by that. I just wasn't expecting it. Yeah, yeah. Dan, you do realize that I'm in the middle of making eggs, so you don't have my full attention. But it seems it's very important, at least to your manhood. Oh, I'm sorry. Was my penis distracting you? Oh, yeah, Magnum. There's a lot of cock to take in. <laughs> Dad, can I have some milk for breakfast? Oh, uh, okay. Later on, that hot dog topics, okay? Mm -hmm. Hot dogs, Dad. Can I have some hot dogs for breakfast? No, Blair, can you wash your hands for breakfast? And we're definitely not having hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Hey, Daniel? Uh, no, Dan. Dan. Oh, Dan. Dan. Hey. hey, Tyler. Hey, Dan. So thank you for having tea with me. Well, not tea tea, just the tea that you drink. But this is a tea tea, though, huh? <laughs> OK, yes, I am thinking of going on testosterone. Oh, this is the tea, totally a tea tea. Very exciting. I, I remember when I was deciding to going on tea. So how are you feeling? I'm mostly sure, but not completely sure that I want all the changes that come with tea. Like, my face will change. Oh, yes, it will. <laughs> and do I want hair on my chest? Yeah, I, I remember when I was wondering if I wanted to look different from my sister, you know? And she had feelings about it, too. Yeah, I'm not sure if tea is what I really need. Like, I know I need top surgery. I've needed it for a long time. My boobs have just never felt like a part of me, but tea is something 
the surgery is something that I'd have to wait a long time for. Yeah, and they want you to be on hormone before you even get to go for the surgery. Yeah. 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 Two years Two. Oh. on the waiting list before I even find out if I qualify for surgery. Two years. Feels like forever. Whereas T shots are something I could do right now. Yeah, but you know that you don't have to rush it. You can try the cream. You know, just stop on, like like use like the perfume, build it up and see how it feels. I did not know that. Oh yeah. And, and you know, some people they, they never come on hormones, they just skip straight to the top surgery. But then again you have to pay the whole month whole amount by yourself. Yeah, and I haven't got ten grand just lying around. Yeah, but then listen, if it's really urgent and, and you cannot wait, you can always do a fundraiser like like we used to do before it was covered. No, T just seems easier. You know what? Now that we've talked, I'm realizing my doctor won't prescribe tea. I'm gonna be devastated. Yeah. But it seems like you got your answer, Dad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Harry. It's always a pleasure. Yeah, always a pleasure. Oh. Go to sleep and good night. May your dreams all be sweet ones. Go to sleep now, little one. Because it's time to go to Mom! 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 You can still call me Mama. Mama's still in here. No. Mama gone. But I got the best papa in the whole world. I sat in the awkward. Getting a prescription for a testosterone pill when you are in the process of transitioning can be more painful than the actual shot itself. I marinated in the awkward. I tried to make friends with the awkward. Hello? Hello, could I please talk to the manager? Why? Because I have a complaint for the manager. Who are you? I am Dan. I am a customer. Who am I speaking to? Why do you want to know my name? Because <laughs> we are polite Canadians and I'd like to know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Why do you want to talk to the manager? Because I keep getting misgendered at the pharmacy and I'd like to talk to the manager about it. Are they around? No. When can I come talk to the manager? Tomorrow or the next day. Okay. Okay, goodbye. I mean, maybe they weren't even staff, but like a criminal caught in the act. Like David Foley's character in The Wrong Guy, where he says he's Anima Bag Jones because it's all he can think of looking at things in the hospital room. Maybe it went something a little more like this. Everybody on the floor, I am going to rob this pharmacy of the testosterone because it is a controlled substance and people are using it very, very sketchy, don't you know? Vitamin C? No. Pickers? Yes. Antibiotics? Oh, yeah. Tampons? Not anymore. <laughs> What should I do? Excuse me, why don't you answer it? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Could I please talk to the manager? Holy shit. These are the cops. They can see me on the camera. Why? Why? Uh, because I have a complaint for the manager? Oh, oh, shit. No one calls like that. They just yell and have a tantrum. I see the laser pointed in my head. Is this the cops? Who are you? I am Dan. I am a customer. Who am I speaking to? Oh, holy shit. The cops are onto me. Onto me. Nobody moves. Don't move. Try, try to play it cool. Try to play it cool. Why do you want to know my name? Because we are...
polite Canadians, and I'd like to know who I'm talking to. Oh, okay, that's that's fair enough. All right. So, excuse me. So, my name is Allergy Relief Diaper. Oh shit. No. Okay. Excuse me. So, Kilasserol. Clearasil. Thank you. So, Kilasserol. Clearasil. That's what I just said. Clearasil. Uh, uh, appli suppository applicator. Holy fuck. <laughs> Why do you want to talk to the manager? Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Because I have a complaint for the manager. I keep getting misgendered at the pharmacy, and I'd like to talk to the manager. Are they around? Are you the manager? Sure. No, no. Just, we're not going to tell him, okay? Thank you. Yeah, so, sorry, no! When can I come talk to the manager? When, when are you available? Tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow! Thanks. Next day? No, no, yeah, tomorrow no. the next day. Yes, thank you. Yes, they're not here. Definitely not here. Oh, holy shit! The SWAT team's breaking down the doors! Invasive maneuvers! Okay. Oh, oh sorry. Yes. Okay, goodbye. My slippy time tea. No, no. This is this is a medicine no. okay. that will help me look more like a man and sound more like a man. Oh, you're gonna get scratchy stuff like that? Yes. <laughs> and my voice will get deeper. Oh, but I don't want you to change your voice. Oh, I don't feel like it matches how who I am on the inside. But it's so beautiful. But it, I don't feel like it sounds like me. So I'm never gonna hear your voice singing me like you sing every night? How about I make a recording of me singing you some songs, and that way any time you want to hear my voice like it is now, you can listen to the recording. Can I sing with you? Of course. <laughs> okay, but, but, but the recording, it, it's just it's not gonna be the same. I suppose it won't, Blair. Think about Tyler, okay. yeah. his voice isn't super deep. Okay. He can still speak or sing softly, mm -hmm. and it will change really, really slowly. Okay. You probably won't even notice it changing, like a tooth falling out. Yeah. It'll wiggle a little bit at wiggle. first, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle a little bit more, yeah. a little wiggle, more. Wiggle, wiggle. Oh. and when it comes out, <laughs> you're really ready for it, right? Yeah. I love you, and I want you to have what you need. Thank you. No, you won't. I love you so much. I love you more. <laughs> Here, why don't you press record? Can Lovey press record? Oh, of course. Lovey? Go, Lovey. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Sugar. Jane. What? It's Dan. It's not Gina. It's Dan. Whatever, Drew. Gina, why don't you come join me outside with the other women? Jane, can you just leave him alone? Why are you two doing this? Come on, Jane. Dan just try to be truthful about what he needs. And I think we should all support him. Listen to me. God made her a woman. 
Her mother knows she gave birth to a baby girl, and that's not going to change. Come on, Jane. It's, it's just it's, it's just a word, okay? Just say he. I can't. J just please, just just say that. I see her as female. She's just Gina. Jane, you change your last name when you got married. It's just the same thing. I can't pretend. That's unacceptable. I'll tell you what's unacceptable. This is basically child abuse. What? She's a nice person, but what? that child Jane? is going to be so screwed up because of Jane, both this is really unfair. <laughs> you used to be such a tough guy. Now you're just a soft faggot. Oh, I didn't see that coming. How could we be ever friends, Jane? I'll tell you how. Because you and your it are both liars. <laughs> get, get the fuck out of my house. Right now. Enjoy your big gay life, asshole. And never fucking come back. I know. I know. I, I, I'm not nice. I should be more polite. But you know what? No, I'm not going to let this poison near to my family. That just not happened. As far as I'm concerned, if I have to educate a, a, an adult how to be a decent human being, it's already late. It's done. Tyler. Oh, hey. Oh, hey how Tyler. you doing, Dad? Good. Yeah. Whoa. Thank you so much for meeting me again. Oh, I know. No. I'm always calling you, and I'm freaking out. Oh yeah, we all have been there, Dan. Believe me. <laughs> so. I'm planning on coming out to my folks in Nova Scotia. Shit just got real. Oh, oh. good for you then. But well, you know, you never know what you're gonna expect. They, 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 they you know, he, my, my, my partner, you know, he got misgendered by his family after 10 years. You know, it's gonna be really difficult and really awkward. Yeah, but I think about you and your family and I wish and I hope that my parents would someday march with me in the Pride Parade. Yeah, they may will, but you know, it, it wasn't immediate for me. They, 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 they had to take their time and they, they had to go through their own process. Yeah, it's like every person I come out to is going through their version of my transition, but separately and on their own timeline. It's like they're grieving, but I'm not dead. It's really hard, eh? Even if you're not going anywhere, they think they're gonna lose something. They're not losing anything except an impression of me that wasn't fully true. And they're gaining something. They're getting to know who I really am. Yeah, and, and, you know, when they when they reacted, it, it it's not about you. It's about them. Yeah, like we had this customer come into the store today, and she burst into tears when she found out I was trans. Like she saw me as this nurturing mom. And when she found out I was a papa, she couldn't reconcile it. I basically had to back away from her. But, but that's gender assumptions. It has nothing to do with you, you know? She just wants to hold on to that image on her mind, what nurturing mother means, and, and she cannot put the nurturing mother image uh, together with the male in her mind. Yeah, I know that intellectually, but to run into it is so jarring. And after that, she didn't even buy anything. A shocker. <laughs> okay, so the next station is Dundas. Dundas is the next station. Oh, Blair. Yeah, yeah, Papa. Hello. Yes. I have to go to the bathroom. No problem, my big manly Papa. In you no, go. No, 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 Blair. Look, I know you see me as male. Just go for it. But other people are not as awesome as you, and they might not understand. It's gonna be fun. No, but. When I change my outsides to look more like a man. Let's go, Papa! Then I will feel comfortable going. But I call me Dad all the time! Come on! That's different, Blair. Dad was born male. Dad looks male. Look, let's leave them all and find a restaurant somewhere with a gender neutral washroom, okay? Okay. You will get there, Papa. Mwah. So, the keto is in your play, huh? Well, Sort of, like a version of the kid is in the play, but 
mixed around and jumbled up with other people. Oh, okay. So my jumbled up and mixed up version is going to be on the plate too, huh? Uh, I don't know. You know? You're kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're awesome. But Mishi, my director, wants drama and tension and resistance, not someone who's just kind of cool with it all. Boring, huh? Yeah, and your dialogue isn't even that believable. Mm -hmm. yeah. What can I say? Not everybody can be as incredible as me. <laughs> okay, they'll believe you said that. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can do anything you want, Magnum. Just don't kill me off like Agent Andy on Vaughn. I would never kill you off like Agent Andy. No. If I wanted to torture you, I would just have you sing show to Whoa, take this, Magnum. <laughs> take this. <laughs> Dragging this family down. They're not gonna let us cross into Trump's America, and you're gonna miss your super fucking fancy speaking engagement because of me. Because I'm finally being me. Let's face it, if I go, I could get us all turned back at the border, but if I stay here, our kid is gonna get her heart broken to miss it. And I'll be letting a bully win. I suppose I could use my ID I have now. Hmm? Try to pass as female, shave off all my facial hair, and what? Use the women's washroom? Undo <laughs> years of progress? Well, that just feels awful. And Trump wins. Yeah, I, I love you. Do you? Yeah. I because do. when I said I was worried about what would happen at the border, I was worried about being strip searched or arrested, and you were worried yeah. about your conference. It was a very confusing conversation, okay? You were talking about different names and different IDs, yes, and we were walking in a bar then, and, and it's a, And, and you know what? I was trying to reassure you, because I wanted you to <laughs> not panic. I wanted everything to be okay. But you know what? Everything is not going to be okay, because I have no idea how long it's going to take me to get my long-form birth certificate from Nova Scotia, and then take that and come over to Ontario and apply for my name change form and get a doctor's letter and then bring that back to Nova Scotia and get the long form birth certificate again with my new name and my new gender marker and then take all of that back to Ontario and get my passport and I have no idea how they're going to be at the border if one is one way and one is the other and it all fucking sucks for trans people and I need to hear that we will figure it out because I have no idea if we can get it done in time. Yeah. We will figure it out, okay? We will figure it out. I'm just freaking out because I ran into Jane at Starbucks. I'm sorry. She made me feel like a freak. Like she can just come into my neighborhood and hang around. And like I don't matter and she can just say whatever she wants to me. I can't cope right now. There's too much hate in the world. Hi. Could I get a passion tango iced tea with no sweet and no lemonade? My name? Yeah, it's Dan. Hi, Gina. It's Dan. Whatever, Gina. How is Blair, you know? My niece, who you basically cut off from me. I must be the dangerous one, no. Is that it? because I just don't indulge your childish fantasy. Look, Jane, I don't know why you are here, but I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. I don't care, Gina. I spent so much time with Blair. I did a lot of sleepovers. I bought present for a kid who's not even mine. You are destroying Drew's life. You, you, you destroyed my relationship with my best friend. And, and then it just reminds me of her. How he is really doing with all your kinky stuff? My transition. Is he still living with you? <laughs> of course. And it's not kinky stuff. It's my identity. It's who I am. I'm a trans man. And Drew is fine with it. In fact, he's awesome with it. Awesome with it, really? Yes. I guess he didn't tell you this, but when I met him 15 years ago, he was looking to date a guy. 
I, I don't believe you. Ask him. Whatever, Gina. When are you gonna have your surgery? I really don't want to talk about it with you. Okay. So, you said Drew wanted a boy. But you still don't have a dick, do you? So he doesn't have what he wants. Why don't you just go back to Church Street, you fucking freak? Not only does Drew love me as I am, but I have access to hormones and probably surgery, which is more than a lot of trans people ever get. Because of health reasons, because of poverty, or because somebody is trying to kill him for being trans. So fuck you, Jane. Oh, and I'm lucky because a year ago, I finally found the words to explain who I am. That's all some people ever get, Jane. That's why the words matter, whether you believe it or not. Very nice speech, snowflake. Why should you just write it down and read about it when your kid is in therapy? But don't worry. When your child's service is gonna hear about you and the court remove her, I built the right ear, giving her a proper home without fucking pervert. Done any research? Do you know how many psychological damage are you gonna do? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I am Gina. I am such a touched parent. I breastfeed, I use the baby carrier, and I tell everyone how I raise my kid and get her a touch. Then I turn around and I take her heart out. And then I ruin my husband's life. That then I make him a fucking faggot so he's not good to anyone. But everything is all okay because I can be who I really am. Jane wasn't using my new name, and she only wanted me to do girl things, and she wasn't like that before I transitioned. Oh, okay, but Papa, what if me and Lovey go over sleepover, and you just drop us off, and you don't have to come in? Hmm? No. No? Aunt Jane was mean to me, and when someone doesn't respect me, I don't want to hang out with them, and because you're my family, I can't imagine you'd want to spend time with someone who was mean to me. I'm sorry, Papa, that Aunt Jane doesn't understand transgender. But, but you don't have to be worried, you know, because, because you were a great mom, you are an awesome dad, and you are the best parent ever. <laughs> and Lovey and I, we love you so much. Group hug. <laughs> We are so proud of your great manly papa. <laughs> Blair is a wise, deep, old soul. She is way ahead of me. Papa, uh, can I, Lovey and I, can I have a G, please? Okay, sure. All right. No yep. problem. All right. <clears throat> You are manly, you are proud, and your voice is big and loud! <laughs> and my courage doesn't rumple, even Trump won't make it crumble. Mm -hmm. You all laugh at our jokes. Mean a lot to this here bloke. <laughs> and you listen, didn't glower, we tried to keep it to half an hour. <laughs> um, spoke the truth in my heart, that's the most important part. And now the world can finally view who I am to all of you. We can't believe our real life each moment and each day is one where I can stand up and it isn't just for play. I just hope one day all trans folks feel the way I do today. You hey! <laughs> <laughs>
Hold on to 